Welcome to our University College Vibes Bruges, inspired by Juan Louis Vives, who was one of the greatest thinkers of his time. This is a statue of Juan Luis Vives, who was born in Spain but lived here in Bruges. Vives was the most important humanist of the Netherlands. Besides that, he also practiced and studied sciences and psychology, which had to lead to a better ethical life. He is often called the father of the modern psychology, because his ideas were the basis of modern views on education and psychology. He was also known for his vision on poverty. The humanist pleaded to centralize all means for poverty by the local government, which was a whole new view because in the 15th century was caring for the poor a religious initiative. This is Hido Hazelle. Hazelle was born in the 19th century in Bruges. He was one of the most important Flemish poets. Hazelle was known for his subtle poems about nature and his illustrative views of language. His poets often contained criticism on the society in a humorous manner. He had a job as a priest and a teacher, but he was also a journalist and a translator. Another great thinker was Simon Steva. He was born in the 16th century in Bruges. Steva was a physicist, a mathematician and an engineer. He was the inventor of the decimal fractions in mathematics. As you can see, the statue has two of Steva's findings in his hands. In the left hand, he has a klotkrans. It's a tool to prove how forces work on an object on the slope. In his right hand, he holds a ball compass, which he probably often used in mathematics. This is Jan van Eyck, one of the most famous painters in the world of the 14th century. Van Eyck painted with such an exact observation and naturalistic presentation of the reality that he was one of the representatives of the Flemish primitives. In his paintings, he often used bright colors and an oil painting technique. Jan van Eyck was also the personal painter of dukes, and that's why he spent his life with the bourgeoisie.